Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new IFC documentary, Hold Your Fire, and this focuses on Brooklyn, 1972, the longest hostage siege in NYPD history, and focuses on, this is from director Stefan Forbes, Sam Pollard was involved too, who was a great documentarian, but this is about... Shoab Rahim, who tries to steal guns for self-defense and winds up leading to this giant hostage situation that lasted all of this time. And what I love about this film, it's there's a personality to the filmmaking of it. It's grainy, it's classy looking. This doesn't look like just another documentary. And also, there's deep themes about religion and race in this film that really digs deep into our own culture in America, human nature. This is a really deep and thought-provoking and philosophical kind of film that really challenges you to look at how people interact with other races and different things like that. And you have Harvey Schlossberg, who is a psychologist who's trying to really change the NYPD, moving away from guns and using more uh, supportive ways to calm down situations. And that was a compelling perspective in this film and seeing how he bumped heads with all kinds of other NYPD officers because this was not what was expected. And what's so fascinating is the harsh and impactful interviews, because you do have some from Rahim. You have this one particular cop who, like, refuses to acknowledge that he's racist or prejudiced, but is so hard-nosed and just, like, the complete opposite perspective. And to one point, he's like, this person should have been put away from murder and executed. And no remorse, no idea of like his own prejudices and he's just laying them out there it's so fascinating to see somebody talk those things out and this is a moving relevant and insightful documentary that will challenge you as a viewer and really make you look at the perspective of how our country is in terms of relations between people and the relationships between the people specifically people of color and the police and this is extremely timely which is a little disappointing, seeing as this is, what, 50 years old, this story and this true situation, and it's still that poignant. So this is definitely a documentary worth checking out. But those are my thoughts on Hold Your Fire. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.